Hello and welcome to Ableton Trap Drums Part 2, Programming Using MIDI Notes. My name is Tyler Winnick, and I'm the lead instructor for digital audio and music courses here at Digital Media Academy. In this how-to, we'll discuss programming a basic trap pattern using our pitched kick drums, creating a drum buildup, and adding arpeggiated hi-hats. Here are the basic system requirements needed to run Ableton Live 9. All right, before I start programming these patterns, I want to rename this track. I'll call it Trap Kit. I'm also going to rename the rack in the track. There we go. Then I'm going to insert a empty MIDI clip here. Insert MIDI clip. And then go into my clip and see the piano roll. Now if I click this little headphone icon, when I click a key, it plays the sample that's loaded on the key. So before, when we mapped those samples, we mapped the, key, the snare drums to be from the D, D3 key up to the D4 key, and we mapped those kick drums to be from the C3 key down. It's really apparent now because when I click these, it plays. All right, so before we start programming, I want to break down a little bit what's going on with this grid. So here we have a one bar loop. So a one bar loop is comprised of four beats. So we have bar one, beat one right here, bar one, beat two, bar one, beat three, bar one, beat four. Now, if you look at the diagram on your screen, I've broken it out so that you can see exactly what it looks like. Now in trap, what we want to do is we want to put our snare drums on beat three. It creates a halftime tempo. Now, this tempo is really fast, 140 beats per minute. And if you play this, if I put the metronome on and just hit play, that's really fast. And in a lot of genres, in typical genres, you put your snare drum on the twos and the fours. So in order to add a note in here, I'm just going to double click where I want to add it. So I'm going to add a note on the 2 and the 4, and then play this. That's got that really fast, almost drum and bass feel. We don't want to do that, so I'm going to double-click those and get rid of them. And then move this one to the third beat. And that's where you want to put your snare and trap. So it's has that halftime feel, a little more groovy, a little more deep and trappy. So I'm going to double click and put a kick drum there on C3. So now I have All right, now I'm going to change the length of this loop so that it's 4 bars so that I can program longer than just one bar. Now to do that, I'm just going to come down here to the length and type in there 4 because I've got bars and beats there. I can type in 4. All right. Now this is a 4 bar loop, so I have a little bit more room to program. I'm going to start with putting my snares on the threes. Double click in there. So now I have... Okay, so I'm going to start adding these kick drums. Like that. Alright, and then I'll, I've got those first three in there. Now I want to add the second three down on this B key in the same places. All right, and then I'm gonna duplicate that loop so that it's twice as long by hitting this button down here, duplicate. It makes that loop twice as long. And I'm gonna move this note down by selecting it, hitting the arrow key and moving it down. And then move this note to there. Now that we have a basic pattern, I'm just going to go ahead and name it Kick Snare. All right, now we're going to create a new empty MIDI clip. 
again, same thing, insert MIDI clip. You can also double click. And then we want to create a drum build. So let's just listen to that again. We've got. So just have that kick drum happening every four bars and then those pitch snares and then the snare rolls at the end. So I want to go to my first snare, which is C, which is D3, and just start placing those. You can do different ones too on every downbeat, so I can just be like, duplicate the loop a couple times, and then just kind of play around, you know? Move that one over to there. Add one there. Change the velocity. Make it a little quieter than the first one. Yeah. And maybe duplicate that. And then put a kick drum there at the beginning. Put another one there. Another one there. All right, and then I'm going to come over here to the end, and I can move these up and do some cool pitch rolls. Start there. Now, it works the same with copying notes here. I can hold down Option and drag. I can also just double-click and move down the scale. And then just do a roll here. That's pretty pretty wild. And maybe I want to do a faster roll at the end, so maybe go. So let me just zoom in. And then lasso these by selecting an area outside of the notes. Make them half the length and then copy them, the Option key. And now I'm going to have... Now you can experiment based on your taste, so I'm just going to fast forward through here until I get the pattern complete based on what we've done so far. There it is. So now I have a build up. I'm going to rename that Drum Build. All right, and then I'm going to copy paste the pattern of the kick snare that I created from earlier. Double click and go into there, and I'm going to go up to E4, which is right around here. So that's my eighth note hats. So if I click and draw these out, notice if I play this, it's doing that eighth note pattern. The long as I, the longer the note, it holds it out. And then I could add a note here and make it a little quicker with that next sample. So now it's and then maybe do the fast one, go back down. You can do some crazy things. I'm just kind of winging it here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just creating notes that are triggering in the drum rack, those hats with the arpe arpeggiators on them. So, remember these? And the longer you hold the note, the longer it holds the arpeggiator on. And 
I don't really like that. Let's probably do that. Now this takes obviously time and practice, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's say I just want to keep that going. I can highlight all of them, option drag and paste them over. Now I have So that's a really fast way to program using the instrument rack that we created. We created the basic kick and snare pattern, that drum build up with those interesting patterns there, and then our kick snare pattern with the hi-hats. Now I want to name this full drums. So I have, and I'm able to alternate between them and then To continue to learn more about Ableton Live and creating music in a variety of other genres, take the electronic music production course this summer at Digital Media Academy. Thanks for watching.